Welcome. All right, so in this example, what we want to do is we want to solve this quadratic by factoring. And again, remember, when we're looking at this, we're going to be most concerned with our value c. And what we want to do is determine what two numbers multiply to give us 8, but then add to give us a negative 9. So when we break down the factors of 8, we notice that those two factors have to add to give us negative 9. So our factors are going to have to both be negative. So I could do negative 8 times negative 1, negative 4 times negative 2. And those are all the factors of that. So I look at these two factors and I say, all right, which two of these, when I add them up together, are going to produce a negative 9? And obviously, you can see that the only two factors that's going to work is negative 8 and negative 1. So therefore, to solve for this, I set it equal to 0. So I have 0 equals x and x, because obviously, when we apply FOIL, x times x equals x squared. And then this has to be a negative 8 times negative 1. And again, we can always check our answer again by applying FOIL, multiplying this out to get it to this. Because remember, all we're doing with factoring is we're just rewriting our expression as a product. All right? And the reason why we're writing as a product is because we want to find our values of x when y equals 0. So now, since we have a, um, a product equal to 0, we can apply the 0 product property. Now we just simply go ahead and solve. So therefore, x equals 8 and x equals 1. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you simplify, or I'm sorry, solve by factoring. Thanks.